Spot and Peeps, Team Money here on this fine Wednesday evening to do a review uh, for body bags. Um, so I'm in max mode right now. I'm pretty beat. Long day as usual. Uh, but I wanted to shoot my review for. Um, so I guess today I'm going to do the ridiculously insane movie from Troma in uh, 1986. Sorry about the uh, lack of light here, guys. Let me turn that on get a little light going. Um, 1986's, and the picture quality, I apologize for too. Um, 1986's Bloodhook. Uh, this was produced, I think, by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Hertz, um, directed by James Malone, Jim Malone. Um, and let's see, uh, it stars Mark Jacobs, Lisa Todd, Patrick Dans, Sarah Hauser, Christopher Whiting, a bunch of actors that you've probably never heard of before. I've never heard of them. Um, but uh, this movie is just hilarious. Like, you're either... It's not for everyone. It's a slasher film from the late 80s. Um, I think you're either going to love it or hate it. But if you like cheesy 80s, like, quirky slashers from the 80s, then I think you'll you'll enjoy this one. Um, it is just... It's got, like, this Wisconsin feel to it. So if you're not from the Wisconsin area... Maybe I should turn that off. It's not... Yeah, that's better. Sorry. That actually made the picture worse. Sorry. Um... If I don't know. I'm not from Wisconsin. I'm from Vermont, so the furthest thing there. But a lot of the actors, you can tell, are Wisconsin natives, and they have like this, yo there, buck doll, yo, you know, Mr. Ludke. It's a hilarious accent that they have. And um, I guess you got to get the Wisconsin humor, but you don't really have to. It's just, it's hilarious. It's like a homegrown Wisconsin horror flick, and you can tell that for sure. Um, but basically the plot of this film is... Well, there's two. There's like a there's like a group of uh, teens that are going fishing and camping for the weekend uh, at their uncle, one of them, their uncle's cabin or whatever. And then you've got another group of um, like a family of travelers, and they got the uh, the RV and they're going cross country to a fishing tournament in Wisconsin. And um, they kind of you know um, end up residing in the same area of the lake and taking part in the fishing tournament. And it's kind of just like a whole vacation type thing. And then you've got the local uh, Mr. Ludke, who owns the bait, local bait shop and um, houses like the local fishing tournament and whatnot. Um, and so, and then you've got this crazed, mysterious killer on the loose who's basically wreaking havoc and killing um, pretty much everyone off um, with a, a fish hook. So I guess that's kind of like the ironic thing about this. I, I feel like since this is the late 80s, a lot of... Um, a lot of the, you know, the knives, every weapon has been, had been utilized, so they were trying to find something different to make it unique for uh, as far as the killing weapon goes. So they said, why don't we do, use a fish, a fish hook, like a mega-sized fish hook, and we can hook the people to death. So that's what they did. Um, like it or not, it's pretty late, it's pretty lame, but, um, you know, the effects are okay. They're not great, obviously, but it's just fun. The movie's fun. It's funny, cheesy, very quirky. The acting, um, I mean, the acting, the dialogue that is between the family in particular, it's like a, you know, your typical, um, mom, dad, daughter, son and daughter, and, and they're just total, like, redneck, quirky, goofball family. Um, kind of like, oh, I don't know, a good example, maybe like the family in Terror Vision or something like that. Just from the 80s, just total stereotypical cheeseball American family but just the dialogue between them I can't even begin to 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 um, describe how hilarious it is it, it, it's really funny so I mean for that alone if you want a good laugh I would I would suggest suggest it but like the kills are decent the acting is horrible but it's charming it's fun it's funny and you know the plot is cool it's like a camp uh, you know traditional camping slasher you've got your groups of people going, taking place in the fishing tournament, and you've got your psychopath crazed killer, <coughs> perhaps, <coughs> Vietnam <coughs> vet, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, no, spoiler alert, but yeah, so if you got your, you got your whodunit, it's kind of like a whodunit, but they give it away halfway through the movie, um, and so yeah, uh, but you're trying to figure out who the killer might be, even though it's pretty obvious, um, and Let's see, I said it was filmed in Wisconsin. You can really tell by the accents. Um, 
And you can watch this movie if you're interested. You can watch it on uh, Troma's YouTube channel. Um, on YouTube, just go to Troma Movies and you can type in Bloodhook 1986 and it'll come right up. Um, I'll just read the, uh, it's so, it's so bad, uh, you can't see that, but the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the barcode is written over the synopsis of the film here, that's how bootleg this Troma DVD is, so, yeah, I would just suggest not buying the movie, just watching it on YouTube if you, if you're interested, but it's basically, uh, it says, fishing tournament, the local yokels are going insane and five students are on vacation, um, sorry, uh, the local yokels are going insane and five students on vacation are in, way, in, are in way over their heads. Peter's friend falls hook, line, and sinker for the sexy tournament hostess. Meanwhile, a crazed killer is using local jail bait as live bait. The murder weapon, an expertly cast barbed hook. The town sheriff won't admit anything is fishy, especially during the height of tourist season. Now it's up to Peter to reel the... I'm sorry. Now it's up to Peter to reel in the fiendish fisher of men or become the catch of the day. So Peter is basically your uh, your star, your hero in this film. Um, yeah, it's kind of like your typical Jaws uh, slash uh, Piranha type, you know, um, where you've got the, the local, what is it, uh, the town sheriff won't admit anything's fishy because he wants to, no matter what, he doesn't want to ruin the... Um, you know, the local fishing tournament for, you know, to bring in money for the town or whatever. So no matter what, he wants to keep it going, even though there's all these kills going on. Um, I can't really think of any standout kill scenes, to be honest. Um, they're all okay. You know, that most of them, like I said, involve a fish hook. It's all kind of that. So that's what you're going to get. Um, but yeah, so... I guess that's pretty much it for this review here. Troma's uh, 1986 Bloodhook. Um, again, sorry about the picture quality here, guys. But um, if you want a fun Troma cheese ball flick, I would I would recommend it. It's it's definitely entertaining. Um, it's you know you get what you you expect. I mean, pretty much with this one, it's it's nothing crazy, obviously, but it's hilarious and it's cheesy and it's fun. Um, and it's not that bad, you know, like the acting is bad, but it's, like I said, it's charming, it's, uh, it's enjoyable, if, uh, kick back, drink some booze with your buddies, that kind of, like, you know, weekend popcorn flick, definitely a popcorn cheese ball flick, so, um, yeah, and you can watch it on your computer for free, that's the best, so yeah, that's been my review of 1986's Blood Hook, directed by Jim Malone, this is T-Money, 1986, I'm sorry, D-O-T-D, 1986, I forgot my own name, um, reporting for blood bag, uh, blood, blah, blah, I'm all over the place, reporting for body bags, where horror lies, body bags, where horror lies, and I will be back next Wednesday with another review, and I promise it won't be so dark, and I won't be lying down in bed, and it won't be so lazy, so, catch you next week, guys, have a good one, peace.